How you going there, Salvador? Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, here it is, thing of beauty. Don't get me wrong, the duo is pretty nice, but there's a duo R. Uh, and this is my spare one, so I know they're getting pretty bloody hard to get. Um, yeah, so it, you can just use the Sony PlayStation 2 power supply for this. So it has, it has got a different connector to the duo. Uh, so, yep, this has only had the laser uh, replaced on it. So other than that, I'm pretty sure it's 100% working, but let's get some testing done. Actually, I know it all, I know it all works because I did go through a bit of testing with it. Um, and then we'll compare the sound on this to the sound on your duo and see how it goes. So as we can see it's running. Um, this controller here I'm using here is a bit dodgy, so I'm just going to pause it for a second, just get the game started. Okay. Right, that, as I said, that controller was dodgy, so I should have had another one prepared, but let's listen to the audio. This is Gate of Thunder. All right, that sounds pretty awesome. So the next part of this test here, what we'll do is we'll we'll try the, sa the same disc on yours and see what it sounds like. And then we'll move on to Devil Crush from the Hue card. So I'm just gonna pause this so I can wire it up. We're just using composite cables, one moment. Okay, and then we're back. As I was say, saying, this controller here is dodgy as. Yeah, now. New laser in there. Shit. There is no audio on this. Maybe that's been the problem the whole time. Maybe some of these sound channels are gone. Might be a bit more than capacitors, maybe. Let's start the game up. Alright, well it starts the game up okay. That's a bit that's a concern, bloody hell. Didn't even realise that at first. Yeah, this controller is dodgy as, but we can just hear that sound. I'm just gonna start this again, Salvador. Just and cuts out. All right. Well, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at the capacitors again. Um, and then we're going to have a look at some any other damage that may have been on the motherboard and take it from there. Hopefully it can be re it can be repaired, but I can't guarantee it. So next thing we're going to do, we'll use the same system. So I should just left that plug in, plugged in, but we'll um, do Devil's Crush. Put that disc away because it's an original copy. I don't want to wreck it. 
All right, I'm just going to pause it and set it up. Okay, welcome back. Now let's get Devil's Crush on. Second dumb hand, sorry, I should have got another controller. Just I think I have it in menu, in memory. Devil's Crush, there we go. Oh man. Alright, let's listen in. using composite cables again. All right, that's your system. So let's go to the duo R and see how it goes. Okay, we're back to Devil's Crush. Yep. This controller is shit. Oh, shit. One sec. Okay. I think your your system's missing some audio channels. Cause this is You can hear it for yourself. That's how it should sound. Yeah, all right, well, um, we're gonna have to have a more extensive look into your system and see if it can be repaired. Obviously, I can't guarantee it because it was how it was, or how it was purchased. I'm sure it can be fixed, mate. I'm sure that I'm sure there's an answer to that duo R. Hopefully it's something simple, um, but as always, mate, I'll keep you up to date it. Um, and you know, like, I'll hang on to this system as if you want to buy it da sometime down the track. I'm only selling it because I know that you're really, you know, <laughs> I've heard you talk about it quite a bit now. They're a very nice looking system, as you can see. It's unfortunate that it is missing that front bit there. Um, quite a lot of them are like that now, but it's still a bloody sexy machine. Just, just the way it is. Um, yeah. All right, mate. I'll hear from you shortly, I imagine. See ya. Bye.